Welcome back to the program, everybody. Welcome back to another show. Welcome back to another episode. Good morning to all of my viewers, listeners, and Soul Tribe family. The name of this program is called It's a Conspiracy, But It Ain't No Theory. On today's episode, I'm going to be discussing Gang Stalking Plus, Surviving the New World Disorder, per usual, Surviving Manufactured Chaos, Surviving Manufactured Karma, Surviving White Genocide, and Surviving the Electronic Targeting Holocaust. My name is Adrienne Alice. I am the author and creator of a book trilogy called Lucy's Lair, Part 1, 2, and 3. Lucy's Lair is a book trilogy reflecting my life. As a survivor of rape culture, child sex trafficking, and psychological gas chambers, on this program, I advocate for women's rights, basic human rights, and the rights of those disabled. I also advocate on behalf of the foster children in the CPS system, orphans, single mothers, <coughs> foster mothers, and those less fortunate. Targeted individuals or trafficked victims are predominantly women. 65 to 70% of targeted individuals are white American women are those who identify as such. This makes gang stalking an illegal operation or hate crime that is sexually and politically motivated towards American women and their children. This program is a dedication to the targeted individual community. The objective of the opposition or the counterintelligence program, COINTELPRO 2.0, is to subvert all of the target's potentiality to terminate and to punish all supporters and sympathizers, to round down the target's output and audience, to marginalize the target, to eliminate connections and networking ability. Also, I just wanted to add at the end of this bit here how the uh, data analysis proves how 80% of these quote-unquote gunmen that you all see in the news are victims of some sort of sexual assault. So I'm pro-life here on the program up until the point where the target becomes a victim of ritual abuse, scapegoating, or sexual assault and or ritual exploitation, and then no more. All right, and so Jerron just recently celebrated a birthday yesterday. Yesterday was his 36th birthday. Unfortunately, he didn't get that wish, that wish uh, that he was making to get his birthday. He was stuck with the witch and not the wish. The birthday wish didn't come true, unfortunately. And so check me out on OnlyFans because I have been on there. I am on there. I um, really had no choice. I didn't have anywhere else to put my content. And um, my entire family is going into debt because of Jerron's um, affairs and sex addictions. And so... You know, every time he gets paid, he ends up spending all of his money at work. They throw a big barbecue or a big potluck or just whatever. And um, this also, too, serves as a form of a ritual abuse because tri it's basically a form of triangulation or triangulating. And so I'm always forced to be in this, like, love triangle, um, which is also why I advocate on behalf of victims of rape culture and this ritual exploitation and trafficking because it just never seems to end. And so between the affairs that he's having at work and, um, and online, you know, he doesn't really have a whole lot of money. By the time he gets home on Thursday and Friday after the party in and after the after all of the affairs and after all of the sex addictions with these honeypots and these porn stars, um, he's pretty much broke. There's nothing left for his family. So I had to take up a second job so that I can provide for my family because he's not doing that. And he actually cares more about his friends than he does his own stepson and his uh, girlfriend of five and a half going on six years. And so... Um, I'll just continue to do these programs as much as I possibly can. And I have noticed how the gang stalkers will come in to do street theater while I'm at work or this trauma-based mind control 
And so I also do have to continue going over this because I got to keep my program up to par and up to date with all of the no touch torture and the trauma based mind control that is taking place while I'm at work. And so it's, um, it's a real bummer that uh, women like myself have to get a second job or even just any job. And, uh, and then, you know, of course we get I get told every single day that the reason why he works so much is so that he can provide for his family. Well, uh, I have news. <laughs> hate to break it to you and hate to shatter that fucking illusion or that lie, but he doesn't provide for his family. The only family he provides for is his work friends and his co-workers and his whores or whatever, uh, the trannies that he subscribes to on OnlyFans. So, um, <clears throat> again... I'm battling this. I'm here for, back for another week battling this. Um, battling this and fighting this oppression. And so I'm pretty tired. I'm pretty deadbeat tired. I've been up since 3 o'clock this morning. And I will have to do it again tomorrow. And I did this last week as well. Because we are carpooling at the moment. And we only have one vehicle. Um... I have to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning to make sure that Jaron is at work by 5, 5.30. And then I am home usually around 6 o'clock. And um, then I have to get ready for my OnlyFans. And from like 7 to, I don't know, 9, maybe 10. I'm busy doing that online now because, like I said, I really don't have a place to put my content as a tattoo model. And... I also have to try to see if I can uh, make ends meet and try to bail us out and see if we can recover financially because we're in debt thanks to Jerron's sex addictions and all of the affairs that he has at work. And um, so that's what I'm doing. And so I'm just here reporting on the oppression and this oppression that I'm dealing with currently that seems to be ongoing. I will be at work until about 7.30 or 8, which is actually my bedtime. So, you know, it kind of goes without saying that I am pretty tired. And uh, by the time I get off, my phone is usually dead and I barely have enough charge to make it back home. Um, and I have to use the navigation to, to get there because I still haven't learned the route by heart. I'm still learning. But um, I think today is like my third day at Grocery Outlet, so we'll see how it goes, and I can't wait to update you on that. And I try to stay off of OnlyFans as much as I possibly can, but because of the affairs that have been going on behind my back and in secret, because of the ongoing sex addictions, that seems to be the, the primary cause and the source for why Jerron isn't dead, is in so much debt. I had to um, not only take up a day job, but, you know, try to put myself on OnlyFans to see if I can hustle as much as I possibly can so that I can provide for our family because this man is not, <clears throat> he doesn't, it doesn't seem like he's capable of providing for our family. I have been broke for so long. Um, I want to say like two, maybe three years and, uh, you know, I don't really like having to rely or depend on anyone financially. And I have found that when you place, um, like if you're depending on as a woman, as especially as a single mother, so somebody like myself who depends on the relationship to take care of me financially, what will end up happening is you will get taken care of, if at all, uh, very last. So your needs will come last. Your child's needs will always come last. And everybody else is prioritized in the covert narcissist or the trafficking boyfriend, the gang stalking boyfriend's life. So every single person that he is dealing with at work he is prioritizing over his stepson, his girlfriend, or I would even say wife, uh, because five years is a legal marriage, so we're going on six now. And we've been having these problems off and on for about two to three years, maybe longer. 
And so, you know, when a woman like me has to get a second job, has to get two jobs to bail a man out, I don't even think he's in the position to be called a man. Um, He's plagued by, you know, he's demonically possessed by sexual demons. And um, that pretty much seems to be all his attention goes to, all his money goes to, all his time goes to. Even if he is not having sex or having a full-blown sexual affair with these women or with these honeypots or with these female co-workers at work, he is still entertaining them. He is still prioritizing them. And uh, just talking to these women at work gets him really turned on. And because he can't stop thinking about them, he gets turned on and he goes to work and he masturbates and he watches porn. And, you know, not all of us are going to work to masturbate and watch porn. Not all of us are coming home to gaslight our would-be wife, fiance, girlfriend, children, stepchildren, whatever. And, you know, not all of us are coming home talking about how we got to work so much to provide for the family. What are you providing? What is he providing? We live in a fucking RV. He can barely afford to make ends meet. Um, If it weren't for me getting these two jobs, I don't even see how we would make it. I've been starving for weeks, months. I've lost so much weight. And so because of all of this oppression that they're forcing us into and Specifically myself, Duran is not oppressed in any way, shape, or form. He's the, he is the oppressive force. And so because of all of this that is going on, I have to continue to keep this program going and to keep this all up to par. And so needless to say, he has no money when he gets paid. Between, Like I said, between all of the parties at work and prioritizing the co-workers and prioritizing the boss and you guys can see it for yourself he's already basically begging her um begging to spend money on his new female boss that he just met two three weeks ago even when she declines and says no he insists Because it's all about prioritizing his work family over his real family. It's all about triangulating. So that's what he's doing in the text where you see. And he's like, is a croissant fine? No. No means no. And also to your wife, Adrian, me, myself, your girlfriend of five, six years, going on six years now. She said that she's tired of being fucking hungry. I'm tired of being fucking starving. I'm tired of you spending all of your money on your female co-workers and all of your friends at work. First, I'm tired of you prioritizing them and I'm tired of you taking all of your friends at work out to eat and making sure that they're comfortable and making sure that they're um, being taken care of, okay? Versus what you should be doing, which is taking care of your girlfriend of five, almost six years, the one that you have sex with every single day, You know, so, and and also, too, you're not even doing anything for your stepson. You don't leave him food. You don't buy him groceries. You're you're not doing nothing. You're doing nothing, literally nothing. You're living for the high that you get, prioritizing other women at work, spending all of your time and all of your money buying them food while we're over here fucking starving. And I am literally having to get a second job just so that I can bail him out so I can provide for my family number one and so so basically I am paying for him to have these affairs that are going on in secret that have been going on in secret that you guys can see for yourself clearly it's in the text and so I am really tired of being placed last I'm really really fucking tired this man needs to be fucking slapped and I am so so glad that when he begged me to hit him I did not put my hands on him I'm just so so glad but I'm just saying if the time if if it ever gets to that point god forbid but it's high past time it's way past due time this is like it's ridiculous I'm better off alone and um, this person has been acting like they're single for years So in my opinion, 
if you're in a committed relationship and you prioritize your family last and you prioritize your relationship last, that's not a committed relationship at all. That's somebody who's playing the field. That's somebody who likes the thrill of being a player. He even likes the thrill of getting caught. He's doing this in a way where he doesn't even like delete the messages or anything like that. So he wants to get caught having an affair because he's trying to break my heart. And so anyways, this has been going on for way, 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 way too long. I've been committed. I've been faithful. I've been loyal for way, 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 way too long. This is all a form of sexual oppression as well. 